Hello, today I'll show you how to install an FSR3 upscaling mod with frame generation and no flickering HUD issues. This mod works on GTX and RTX cards, but I'm not sure about AMD cards since I don't have one to test. Feel free to try it out and let others know. Before we begin, please like and subscribe. Now let's get started. First, let's check the FPS without the mod. It's not great, but it's playable. If you have a good CPU better than mine, you can expect even more FPS and fewer freezes. Now let's install the mod. Watch the entire video before commenting that the mod doesn't work. The mod link is in the description. Go ahead and download it. Navigate to your PAL world directory. Open the mod file and either drag and drop everything into the game directory or extract, copy, and paste it there. Now, a crucial step, create a desktop shortcut for the game application. Go to the shortcut properties and in the target section, add these characters with a space between them and the double comma. For some, the game may not launch without opening as an administrator. Make sure to run the game as an administrator. Upon launching, you'll see the reshade menu on the top left confirming the mod is installed. Check game settings. DLSS should be unlocked. You might notice your FPS has doubled and there's no flickering HUD, but there might be some character ghosting. Press the home button to access the menu and press it again to remove it. I recommend using the sharpening option for a better game appearance. For GTX players, you can switch between XS and FSR2, but I recommend FSR3. GTX users, don't choose DLSS from here, or your game may crash. For RTX players, DLSS is the best option. To demonstrate, Disable the HUD fix and you'll see flickering. Enabling the fix eliminates the issue. Use the star button on your number pad to toggle frame generation. If you don't have a number pad, search for the on-screen keyboard and open it. If it's not visible, click Options and tick Turn on Numeric Keypad. After pressing OK, you'll see a number pad. Click the Star button to see your FPS change. You can do the same for the menu by clicking the home button. And that's it. Don't change anything in the reshade menu. And if you followed my steps correctly, you should have no errors or crashes. As always, like and subscribe.